Yo, what is up guys? It's the Goblin, and today I'm back with my second upload of the day. I uploaded a video earlier today about how to get more gun kills in Black Ops 3, but this one is my overpowered series, and this one's gonna be on the M8 as I melt that kid with this class. I'm telling you, this class makes the M8 good at pretty much all ranges, except super close ranges, but you can still get those one burst, and this class is a bit unique. It's some of the stuff that I don't really use on other guns, but I'll explain why in this video, and I'm sure you guys will love it. So if you guys can, as always, leave some feedback on this video, some likes or a dislike, whatever you guys think the video deserves. I'd Appreciate some support and also subscribe to the channel if you guys are new. We're getting close to 400,000 subscribers, so all the new subscribers, I'd really appreciate that. And let's get right into it. So, the M8A7 is the best burst gun in the game, in my opinion. They've nerfed pretty much all the other burst guns the XR2, the Pharaoh, even the 48 Dredge Burst LMG. Um, I don't think they've nerfed, they haven't nerfed the uh, RK5 Burst Pistol, but that as well as this M8A7 burst gun are absolutely deadly. And let me explain to you guys what you want to make the M8 overpower. Now, basically, the M8 is a bit unique of a gun for the simple fact that I think this gun always needs a red dot. I don't really think that the iron sight is that good on this gun. I think it is manageable though, you know what I mean? It's just personal preference. I think this gun is like a laser sort of rifle, and that's where I like to run the uh, red dot or the elo sight. So first off, what you want to do to make this gun OP is you need a sight on it. You need either the red dot or the elo sight, and those are up to personal preference. Let me know in the comment section down below which one of those do you guys use. I personally, I switch back and forth, but lately I've been rocking with the elo sight. And I think it's just absolutely deadly. It makes the gun literally appear to have no recoil. And you can usually, it's usually a one or two burst kill. So recoil is not a problem on this gun. So you don't need a grip. As far as the attachments, I'm going to say three attachments like usual. The three attachments you're going to want on this gun are stock. For the simple fact that it's an assault rifle. You're going to be posting up. You're going to be have, having to strafe and hit those shots on people. So stock is definitely required. And then what you're going to want is the other two attachments are long barrel and quick draw. And I'll explain this. Quick draw makes up for basically some of what this gun lacks at medium range because sometimes it won't be a one burst kill. Quick draw, you really need to get first shot on this gun. This gun is not like the Vesper. Vesper, someone can get their first shot off onto me and I can just mow them down with a quick draw Vesper. This thing is not like that. And that's why I think quick draw helps for that and helps to sometimes when you need to get that second burst off, you can do that. And that's why I'd rec definitely recommend quick draw as well as a stock and the third attachment as long barrel. Now, if you don't want to run long barrel, this I'll explain why I want long barrel is the best basically long barrel basically doubles the ranges of assault rifles and that basically means that at a certain range it's going to turn what would have been a two burst without long barrel into a one burst so long barrel is basically required as far as a fourth attachment if you want to run one i would say rapid fire but i'm fine with those three attachments because you also have to have to run the sight the elo or the red dot and then the perks i usually just run three perks uh you could either run uh this is what i like to run is a first perk and then scavenger fast hands that usually always works for me and and this class does some deadly work. I'm telling you guys, the M8, you don't need, this, this is what's unique about this class, what I said at the start. I usually always have fast mags or extended mags on all of my OP classes just because I'm a rushing player. And I think that always having a bullet in your clip basically saves your ass all the time. But on this gun, you really don't need it because you have 32 in the clip. That is quite a few bursts as well as the reload time is not very long and it's gonna more of a defensive rifle. So if you're posting up at B domination, you're gonna have time to duck down and reload. And that's why I don't think that fast mags or extended mags while they will help, I don't think they are required on this gun. So, if you guys did enjoy this video, hopefully this helps you guys out with the M8A7 class up and helps you to make this gun OP. This is the best gut burst gun in the game by far right now, in my opinion. So, thank you guys for watching. If you guys could support it, drop some likes on this thing. I really appreciate that. Subscribe if you're new. Subscribe for Cookie and Don't Looky. And I'm out. Peace. Thanks for watching, guys. Have a great night.